What's up guys, Jonathan from Structural BIM here. So today, something a little bit different on the channel. Um, I'm gonna take a look at this new product, which is Veras, I hope I'm saying that right. And it's from the guys at Evolve Lab. And this is AI powered visualization. Um, and this allows you to sit within Revit and it uses your 3D geometry that you already have. And it uses AI to give you a more creative and better render. So I'm gonna take a look. You can simply download it on the website here, downloads the install, and then there is a free trial version, which I'm looking at today, but there's also a standard and an enterprise version. Um, so this is working on Revit 2023. So let's jump into Revit and take a look at what we can create. So once downloaded, I've now installed it and it now sits within my ribbon tab at the top under Evolve Lab. So to take a look at the render, I'm going to jump into the living room. Um, this is probably familiar to a lot of you guys. It's the standard out of the box Revit architectural model. And this is the sample render that comes with it. So I jump into the Evolve Lab tab, choose the start button, and this will launch the dialog box to allow me to configure some options. So within the trial, you get 30 free remaining or 30 renders that you can do. And then we have got some options. So the first one is creativity strength. And if you hover over it, it shows you that as you change the slider, it changes um, the creativity that the AI will use to produce a better scene. So I'm actually going to max this out to 100. We then have a style strength where it takes the standard Revit aesthetic. And then with a high number, it can produce a more... Uh, photographic version. So again, I'm going to max that out. There are some options locked due to this being a trial, this being width and the number of renderings in trial mode, but they are then unlocked within the paid software. We then got some radio buttons where we can toggle if this is an interior view. In this instance, it is. So it allows the system to know that it's an interior. We then have turbo nature where it will add as much vegetation as possible. And then we've got atmospheric, which we'll look at adding fog and mist to the outside scenes. And then we've got is an aerial view. And then we have a user prompt guide, which we can then generate information based on that. So I'm going to start with this. So I'm setting my strength uh, for creativity and style to the max 100. And I'm saying it's an interior. And I can now choose the render button. And this will go off and take the standard Revit one and present something back completely generated by AI. So no work for me whatsoever. Just click the buttons and then click the render control. And within a couple of seconds, this will then present back what the system has then um, generated for me. And then we can go back through, toggle some of the options. So you can see the first run um, is actually a huge difference from what the Revit version has done. So it's obviously applied lots of material definitions. It's applied lots of the um, interior and exterior lighting and the shadows. So now we can pump that into a turbo nature, should we wish, and we can go and click render again. And this is just gonna then add further information. So you can see the speed of it, how much it improves the initial sort of Revit version without really any work. So it's a really cool uh, piece of technology and it's going to be really interesting to see how that evolves you can see then with with the the turbo nature it's then done and you can click between these you can see that's my first one this has now got the turbo nature and if we make this also atmospheric we can then click render again and it will do the third iteration of the uh, render that we're trying to produce so this should only take a couple of seconds you can see the power and the speed um, of the system. You can see now we have, this is with just an interior. This is the interior with the turbo nature. And then we have the atmospheric sections where it's put in sort of the fog and mist, everything outside. We can toggle if we wanted to do and take off turbo nature with just interior and atmospheric. And again, we go and we re-render that and produce another version. And all these renders are going into the folder here so you can click it and then you can um, actually use them images and insert them in and around your Revit project. You will see with each render that you complete you've got the timestamp, the resolution and the settings that have then been used within the system. So I just thought in this video I'd take a quick look at how we can work with all the different settings, how we're now starting to use AI 
to produce further exaggerated content that we need within the system. So let's take a look at this user prompt section. And this is using for, we can use a prompt to generate the type of image that we want and the AI will then control it. So if we, for, for instance, were to put in Ikea as a prompt and we click render, it will actually go and start to transform this in a more of Ikea styled um, powered image. So it'll look at the sort of style of the furniture that comes from Ikea in this instance and look to generate an image with that type of prompt. So it's really clever stuff in the background. It's gonna look at this prompt that I put in and you can put in lots of different prompts. You can see there it's done the minimalist like, and you can see it look, starts to look and feel like Ikea styled furniture. And we could also put in, let's say, um, shabby chic. If we wanted again, we could rerun it with a completely different type of prompt that will then transform and again not really doing anything here guys just putting in a prompt of the style of the the interior uh, render that I want and it will go off then and apply that particular prompt to the rendering so we'll just let that run and we can see that it will then produce a different type of render so you could easily produce different design type options each time within your system so you can see there it has completely changed the sofa the flooring and everything and if we want we could go with maybe uh, a futuristic one and we could uh, render that and see i've not tried this before so i'm completely going off the bat as to what it's actually going to produce but you can see there it's actually produced a pretty cool uh you can see the 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 element in the middle has completely changed to a more futuristic type of thing so um really cool and that just explains how we work with that um user prompt side of things so that's pretty much all for me don't forget to like and subscribe and catch me again on my next video